Friday, September 8th, 2023 at Protestia Studios, and this is your intelligence briefing. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a good day, and thank you for tuning in. Go over to protestia.com for all the latest in Christian polemics and discernment news. Subscribe to the Insurgency email list and support us by going to patreon.com forward slash protestia for only $5.95 a month, just like the intrepid patron supporters that bring this program to you on a regular basis. Let's get into the headlines over at protestia.com. Famous hell-denying preacher battling cancer saying, I was at death's door. Carlton Pearson used to be one of the most prominent pastors in America. He founded a Church of God in Christ Church, C-O-G-I-C, called the Higher Dimensions Evangelistic Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma in the early 80s, which he eventually grew to over 6,000 attendees every Sunday. He hosted a weekly preaching show on TV and reaching millions of people and was one of the first black ministers to sell out stadiums and conferences, platforming folks like T.D. Jakes and Joyce Meyer, and sharing the stage with Jerry Falwell and Oral Roberts. Given his prominence, he also met with and ministered to Bill Clinton and George Bush, counseling them on faith-based initiatives and following major tragedies. His downfall began after he claimed to hear the voice of God speaking to him and telling him there was no hell after watching a video on the Rwandan genocide. He shared this revelation with his congregants who rejected him and hit the message wholesale. Uh, yeah, with, with good reason, of course, since the Bible clearly teaches that there is a hell. His denomination publicly branded him as a heretic, and his church hemorrhaged dozens of pastors and thousands of congregants until only a few hundred remained. After struggling on their own for a few years, they eventually merged with All Souls Unitarian Church in Tulsa. Here at this pro-LGBTQ, pro-choice, trinity-denying goat pen, he became an affiliate minister where he's been ever since. He's also incredibly ill with the Christian Post reporting he's battling prostate cancer reoccurrences from 20 years ago. He revealed this in a Facebook Live video on Tuesday. Uh, You can read the rest of this at protestia.com. Um, but very interesting. To, it will be very interesting to see what happens to him as he says, "Due to my cancer, I was at death's door." Um, question is, will he will he continue to believe uh, that there is no hell uh, after he dies and very clearly realizes that there is one? We'll see. So um, head over to. Uh, by the way, at the end of the article, we say there's no denying that Pearson is a heretic on his way to hell. We pray that he repents before it's too late. Next headline at Protestia. Pool of Siloam Steps, where Jesus walked and healed the blind man, are unearthed. This is a curated post from Christian Headlines. In recent weeks, archaeologists and workers in Israel have unearthed eight steps at the Pool of Siloam as part of a major project that will reveal for the first time in centuries the very stones that Jesus and the men and women of Scripture once walked. The project was announced Late last year, by the Israel Antiquities Authority, the Israel National Parks Authority, and the City of David Foundation, and involves excavating a site in the southern part of the City of David and within the Jerusalem Walls National Park area. There is a um, a link at the bottom of our article, of course, to get to the original and read the rest of this, which uh, sounds very interesting. I'll probably head over and do that right after I finish recording the intelligence briefing. Uh, but you can find that at Protestia and then head over to Christian Headlines to read the rest. Next headline at Protestia, Living Waters releases new anti-abortion film, What Is It, free on YouTube. So this is Ray Comfort's ministry, Living Waters, and... They've released the global premiere of their movie, What Is It?, on their YouTube channel completely free. The film primarily features on-the-street interviews and interactions with the public about their views on abortion. Here, the host, that would be uh, Ray Comfort, uh, pokes uh, and prods them to delve into their beliefs, that is the people on the street, confronting them about the consequences and implications of their own convictions. It also features segments on the history of abortion, other pro-life arguments, and some evangelism at the end. So there is a, and we have um, uh, embedded the full movie here in the article, and you can either watch it, of course, embedded on Protestia, or there's a link at the bottom uh, bottom left to go and watch it on YouTube, and we would uh, uh, recommend that you, uh, that you check that out. Next headline at Protestia, why are pro-life legislators repealing laws criminalizing abortion? This is another um, curated post from Abolition Abortion, Texas. And they, they wrote, did you see what happened in South Carolina? Pro-life legislators repealed 
an existing law that made it a criminal act for a pregnant woman to deliberately kill her own preborn baby by abortion. And this isn't the first time other states have done this. So this was in South Carolina, the, the statute uh, 44-41-80, criminalizing self-managed abortions. And uh, apparently pro-life groups have uh, worked to get this um, the, the law against doing a, an abortion, I guess a woman doing an abortion on herself, this kind of thing. It was criminalized, and now apparently they don't want it to be criminalized. The 2023 Fetal Heartbeat and Protection from Abortion Act repealed the law decriminalizing self-managed abortion in South Carolina. A Democrat senator offered the amendment to do this. Uh, senator Hutto, um, I, I guess that would be a state senator in South Carolina, um, offered the amendment and 30 Republican senators, only 13 Democrats. You'd assume anything decriminalizing abortion wouldn't stand a chance of passing, except that it did. So uh, follow the rest of this story. This was written by Bradley Pierce, published at uh, Abolish Abortion Texas. There was a link at the bottom of our article to get to it, and we would recommend that you head over and read the rest of that story. Um, that is going to do it a little bit shorter intelligence briefing for today, Friday the 8th, 2023. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much for being with us for this intelligence briefing. Go to church on Sunday and worship with the saints. And if you're in Colorado, maybe I'll see you there. As always, Semper Reformanda. <laughs>